Um, a sort of provisional date for your diary for next year's symposium is Monday the 9th of November 2020. Um, so we will be advertising that soon. And then really, um, I'm not going to spend very long, so I just wanted to sort of uh, wrap up with a few things. Um, um, first of all, um, um, I'd like to sort of thank Armand um, for his keynote. Again, he's had to leave um, 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 for, the, for the day. But um, I actually asked him to be a little bit provocative, and I hope uh, he, he did that. Um, I, I wish there'd been maybe a bit more opportunity for some discussions. Um, but um, some, um, in terms of working um, in the science arena, something that we're very interested in developing further. Um, a couple of other things that I sort of picked up during the day. Um, one of the things that lab seems to be sort of um, evolving into, and, and increasingly more of the work that we do, is embedding our data into courses. So there's been increasingly more collaborations with uh, university courses. I've done some work at the school level as well, embedding our data in courses um, with students. And also, um, really, one of the other things I sort of wanted to sort of highlight was um, uh, sort of inspiring sort of um, experimental thinking. So particularly the staff awards, uh, it's very much about sort of staff getting together and thinking of new ways to do things. You know, they don't really have extra time to do this, but we were really sort of impressed with some of the initiatives that some of the staff took out of their own time, uh, particularly the, um, the hack days and the sort of the, the Twitter campaign. But um, just to sort of finish off, really, a couple of things. Really, it's kind of a call to action, but if there's anything that has piqued your interest today. Um, you know, it's really, I, I, it's something I constantly sort of say, but I'm hoping sort of that today, if you're new to BL Labs, is the start of a conversation. So, um, and that always starts with uh, looking at our collections. So please feel free, free to, to have a look at data.bl.uk where you can download uh, large uh, data sets and collections that we, we have there. We also have um, expertly written um, uh, curator guides, which give sort of subject pathways into our collections. Um, often those coll collection guides have a section on what we have available digitally. We also are developing a sort of projects archive. Um, uh, often when people are thinking of what to do with our collections, um, it's kind of a little bit of an abstract process. So looking at what other people have done previously can be an easier way in to sort of getting them inspired in terms of things they want to do with our collections. Also, explore your inner labber. That's something I've been saying quite a lot in, in presentations. Um, but um, really what that's about is, uh, it, you know, explore the possibility to sort of experiment and play with collections, and not just ours, but other people's. If there's, as I said, if there's anything of interest, um, Really, it's about starting a conversation. I have hundreds of conversations with people. Very few actually end up as sort of uh, fully fledged projects. Um, I'm going to say something really dangerous here, but if you're really persistent, you're probably going to get a project that's actually going to uh, be, um, be be actually acted upon. So I'm, prob I'm probably going to regret saying that. <laughs> um, so if, if, there's a, uh, if there's something that's uh, piqued your interest, please speak to us. Um, and just really finally, if you're working in an institution that is planning to run a lab, or you maybe already have a lab, or you're sort of uh, experimenting with sort of labs type thinking or sort of experimental approaches, um, we, you know, we really encourage you to uh, join our community, the glamlabs.io that um, um, Sophie was talking about earlier. We have a book as well, so we actually have a manual. Um, I think the, 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 the book is, 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 is really for anybody who's interested in working with collections. Uh, it provides some of our experience, knowledge, expertise, case studies of things that have worked. Um, but really, I just want to sort of finish off by just mentioning that we have a performance. Every year, we try to do something a little bit experimental. Um, so uh, this year, we decided to do something um, a little bit different. Um, really inspired by um, an immersive theatre event that I went to, I think it was in March, 
And I was so taken by it, I thought, oh, we, we should try that at the Beer Lab Symposium. So we're at, at, in true, true to form, we're trying an experiment. Um, we have one place left for the uh, five o'clock performance, um, but um, I think we're now full for that one. We've just got one, one left. And then the evening performance at uh, 7.45, uh, we have still a few spaces, and we can get you some free complimentary tickets for that. Um, really, the, the performance is all about um, imagine there's a digital apocalypse and some, some evil person has, has found a way to destroy all digital information and you've got minutes to go before all digital information will be destroyed. You've got this one opportunity to, to take something from your device that you've brought with you today and put it on a digital capsule that will be opened up in 150 years' time. And that's pretty much the sort of uh, the basic plot line of the performance. Immersive theatre means that you actually become part of the performance. So anybody brave enough to, to do it, it's great fun. I, I, I did it for the first time a, a while ago, and I was quite terrified, but um, I came out feeling quite inspired. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. But just to sort of finish off, really, um, Thank you very much for attending. We're, we've finished a little bit earlier, which means there's more time for drinking wine. <laughs> and, um, and I think we've got some beer and some nibbles. But um, a really important part of, of these events is about um, encouraging conversations and start, starting, um, you know, it, being inspired by something which ultimately could end up in a project. So thank you much, very much for all attending and for all of, the, the, all of you that stayed until the end. Um, and hopefully see you next year. Thank you.